Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Uh, today's video, I'm bringing you um, a, a card for mums. Um, I might bring out a couple more videos this week just to celebrate mums. Um, and I'm a mum, and I think we all need to be celebrated. So I'm going to create this card using the Petal Palettes um, stamp set. Um, and I thought I would use the thoughtful banners um, because it's got um, Mother's Day and it's got Mum in it or Mum, uh, depending if you're in UK or US. So at least I can add that kind of element into to this, and we'll see how it turns out. So I'm gonna primarily do my colours today. In um, we are using cherry cobbler. Um, old olive and black so I've got here standard card base cut um, so half of A4 um, cut at 14.8 and then it will be scored at the center at ten and a half and I have a piece of basic black which is five million so that's ten centimeters by fourteen point two and another one, which is another five in, which is nine and a half centimeters by thirteen point um, eight, I think, something like that. So I shall bring in my whisper white because what we're going to do, I do have a scrap piece of whisper white as well. Um, is because I'm going to use the alcohol markers I am going to use Memento um, for this I will have to let it dry for a moment I've tried to position my camera a little higher today because um, I had a comment in one of my previous videos that I was missing stuff out, but to be honest, I had the camera quite low, so uh, thank you for uh, pointing that out, and hopefully we'll rectify that problem. So I'm going to start with my image in the corner, and then what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to pop another one in this corner. Sorry if I get my head in the way, I'm trying not to. And now in these kind of corners, I'm going to bring in a slightly smaller flower. Which one? That one. So I'm going to bring in this flower here. Flip it up and do the same. There we go. <coughs> I <coughs> sorry about the cough. I um I've been quite unwell for a, a little while. And the doctor just phoned me because I had a throat swab done. I've got streptococci, so I've got to go and get some more antibiotics. Because the first round that I had at the beginning of February didn't work. Um, so hopefully that will make me all better. Because I don't think I've been well since November. But we'll get there, eh? So I'm just going to on some uh, scrap card. I'm going to just ink up and I'm going to stamp out a couple because I want to take out some of the features and layer them onto this card. So I'm just going to stamp two. 
I'll try and keep them fairly close because I'm going to be chopping them out. Right. I'm going to um, stamp my sentiment in a moment, but I'm going to colour this and position this first because I'm not exactly 100% where I'm going to put what yet, but we'll get there. So um, I'm going to start with colouring this one because this is sat for a second. Now with colouring and uh, using the alcohol markers, the, the stamping blends, um, you can do it either way, it doesn't matter, because you can add colour but you can't take it away. So I always start with my darker colour and use the stamp shading um, to kind of get where I want the darker colour to be. Um, which I think is, you know, we're just using the natural features of what the stamps um, impression is putting down. So, um, And then I'm going to use the lighter to blend it all. So I'm going to go ahead and colour this all in and I'll see you in a second. So I have coloured in and cut out my flowers. Um, I do have um, a big shot and I do have these dies, but everything of mine is packed away at the moment because we're doing some work on the house. So um, I couldn't quite get to all of my stuff. Um, so well, scissors work fine. Um, and I'm not sure I might cut these out a bit more and lay do some layering like I have done um, on some of my other cards. So, we need to do our sentiment now and I kind of wanted the sentiment to look like it was almost on a gift tag so I've, I've brought down a couple of punches um, I love this punch this is the everyday label punch and it's it's brilliant um, and then I've got the tag punch um, so I'm going to try out a couple of things but first we'll stamp our sentiment and then we can see how we're going to punch it out. And I'm going to stamp in our archival black and I'll bring back in this piece of cardstock. Now what did I say I was going to go for? I might put a bird on it. Move that out as inspiration. And clean them in a second. So I was thinking um, Life is so much better with you in it. And then I was thinking of putting mum on the bottom. Um, that one. And you in it, mum. Where is, is that mum? Mom. There it is. text should be okay together I don't know we might find that it doesn't work but we might find it does so let's just give it a go and see and actually it probably would fit on one of the, the little labels so oh. Right, I'm just going to get my trimmer. We can trim that out. Oops. 
So the space for this is two inches. So I know I need to cut out a, a two inch. We'll give two inches. So I'll have to trim the other one. Yeah. So let's trim it down a little. This side. Not quite central, but that's fine. I'll bring the trimmer back in again because I'm not sure how big I want to make it. I want it a bit further up, so let's turn this upside down, pop this in, yeah that's better, and if we do Should we make it? I don't want it too big. Okay, so that's is that three three inches from the top part there. I think what I'm gonna do is do I do a flower or do I do a birdie? Let's bring our stuff in and have a little looky. What did I put the cardstock? Oh, it's there. Okay, so we've got stock and base hmm, and possibly the bird or more flower What do we think? I think more flower. So I'm just going to stamp out another one and quickly colour it in. Oh, wrong ink pad. I should probably just do it straight onto that, shouldn't I? Yeah. And we'll have it flat on there. With my scrap. So, we're going to go for flat on there. But I want to try and get as much as that flower on it as possible. So, position like that. Lovely. We'll bring our blends back in and give this a quick colour. Here we go. All flowery. So I'm going to pop all this up on dimensionals, me thinks. I know I had a pack of them somewhere. So. Oh, and I'm going to bring a bit of ribbon in as well. A 
but I've put these right in the wrong places, but it's fine. Um, so ribbon, there is my ribbon. I might put some pearls in as well. So let's get this stuck down first before I start faffing. And where's my fast fuse? There it is. So this layer is going flat. See what I'm doing. Oh, sitting on my trimmer. Not got enough space where I am at the moment. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll all be sorted. Um, do I raise that up? Yeah, I'm going to raise it up. I'll have lots of dimension on it. That's going to go on first. These ones are playing ball. I'm good. Don't know if I should bow it or not. Tuck that bit under, that will lift the leaf. So now, I need to just snip it into that a little bit more. able to just move it because I've not pushed it right down yet so let's chop into this a little bit more
we go. Kind of wanted just the flower peeking over the top. So I've just chopped into it slightly. Um, I have to do the same for this one. Probably should have done this before I attached it to the card, but it's one of those things that you, you kind of go, oh, actually, I'd quite like to do this. Good thing about the dimensionals is they are they are a good tack, but they're a low enough tack that you can take them off usually without damaging your project. So I'm just chopping into there again. Same flower. So this is going down. That's going to go underneath. And that's going to tuck just over the top. I think we need to put a stick um, a little dimensional in And there we go. I'm not sure if I want that. Like that and maybe stick it down with a couple of glue dots. So I'm gonna pop a couple of glue dots on because I wanna hold my ribbon kind of in place. Let's partly like that slightly. And I want it to curve down. So I'm going to need another cap rod glue, glue dots. So I'm talking with that in my mouth. There we go, that's it. And a couple of things. So I'm just going to pop a couple of pearls on. small ones
So here is our finished project. I really like how it's turned out. I love the embellishments and the ribbon placement. I'm glad I changed it from a bow. Um, for this month, for March, I am doing a giveaway. So if uh, you want to win some of my projects, all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog, um, leave a comment and like the video. And I will uh, pick out a couple of winners at the end of March to and get in contact with you to send out my projects. Okay, so this has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's. See you later now. Have a great day.